everyone and welcome to session 18 on uh, quality control and improvement with Minitab and I am Professor Indrajit Mukherjee from Shelly Jimeta School of Management IIT Bombay. So, uh, previous session what we are doing is that we are talking about hypothesis testing and we are talking about one sample uh, Z test that we are doing and in that case what we have mentioned is that one example we have taken and uh, we will we will just try to highlight and uh, then we will go ahead with that ok. So, this was the uh, uh, concentration in ppm which was monitored and uh, the hypothesis and sigma was known over here. So, in this case sigma was known. So, whenever population sigma is known in that case that is why we are using z test over here and uh, uh, what we have seen is that we want to test the hypothesis that whether it is mu equals to 0.5 mu greater than 0.5 over here <coughs> and the z statistics that was used was x bar which is derived from the observation over here and sigma is given over here and it is the total number of observations that is there and uh, this mu will be equals to 0.5 that we have assumed and so uh, I can calculate the z statistics over here. So, in this case and then what we see is that whether the z value uh, that that is uh, so this is 0.5 region over here whatever will be the z value. So, uh, and this is the rejection zone that we have defined based on one sided test over here and if my values is falling somewhere over here z value is falling that is z statistics is falling uh, somewhere over here in the rejection zone in that case we will go for the alternate hypothesis, we will go for the alternate hypothesis. So, in this case what we have seen is that data because data is non normal and we have transformed the data. So, we have initially we have assumed that data is normal then also we have seen that we cannot reject the null hypothesis because my z value is uh, around 0.52 and the corresponding p value over here is 0.301. So, this values uh, uh, indicate that uh, p is greater than 0 0.05. So, I have to I cannot reject the null over here. So, uh, uh, we go by the null hypothesis over here. So, we cannot uh, we cannot reject or we do not have enough evidence to prove that mu not equals to uh, mu is uh, mu is greater than 0 0.5 like that ok. Uh, and also we have seen that in case this uh, normality assumption is not true, uh, we can convert the data by uh, using uh, lambda transformation over here, what we call lambda that box cops transformation what we have used and uh, and uh, what we have seen is that after conversion then we converted sigma and then what we did is that um, after conversion uh, we have applied the same uh, logic of z test over here and we have seen that that also satisfies the condition that means we cannot reject the null over here ok. And uh, so, uh, that was the example that we have taken. So, that that was the example that we have taken. Uh, we can take some, some more examples over here and try to see that uh, uh, what happens in other scenarios like that. So, uh, before we go into that we, we need some brief idea about that what is this p value that we are talking about which is used for hypothesis testing and any other uh, ana analysis on uh, uh, statistical analysis when, when we talk about level of significance like that. Uh, what is this p value? So, normality test we have used this one p value concept like that. So, uh, what is this p value? So, when when I am doing this test on uh, normality test, when I am doing this hypothesis testing what is assumed is that the alpha level of significance is around uh, 0 0.025 let us say 0 0.025 and on this side if I am doing both side a test what I am assuming is that on both side it is 0 0.025 over here and uh, I am observing that this is the mu condition and this is the x bar condition where it falls. If it is falling within this region I will I will reject the null hypothesis basically ok. So, uh, Minitab gives you an option to calculate the corresponding p value. So, I am using a z statistic uh, over here and based on the z statistic value that is calculated value uh, and uh, then I compare this calculated value x can be converted into z statistics calculated value over here and uh, this z. So, this will be converted into z on this axis and this will be z c. So, uh, this is the 0 point over here, this will be 0 condition over here, this will be converted into 0, the mean will be equals to 0 when I convert into z. So, then what I do is that z statistics I am I am trying to derive that z statistics over here and uh, uh, based on this uh, z value uh, and with a level of significance of 0 0.025 on this side. So, uh, uh, if my z value uh, gives me uh, this uh, uh, gives me a, a 
corresponding value. So, yeah, the z statistics over here will be compared with a uh, tabulated value. Earlier days what what used to do is that this is calculated and tabulated value depends on this alpha level of significance what I have defined over here. So, calculated value uh, will be compared with tabulated value like that from table z table we will get and uh, and if this is calculated value is greater than then we will uh, tabulated value then we will reject the null hypothesis that was the earlier concept. So, I can do hypothesis testing in two ways. So, one is that using tables and we compare that values and go by that otherwise we go by the p value concept over here what is used by Minitab and we and uh, many people goes by p value concept like that. So, I, I do not predefine this alpha level of significance, but I have in mind that if alpha value if I if I can if if this is the region of uh, region of acceptance zone over here. So, uh, so then uh, what uh, due to computational uh, nowadays availability of computational softwares like that what can be done is that whenever I am doing this test or z values that I am calculating. So, this will be 0 and this will be calculated value over here for a given calculated value that we have calculated. So, we can also calculate that what is the probability or the area which is more than z. So, probability of uh, z greater than z uh, z c like that. So, this this area can be defined over this can be calculated over here and Minitab does it automatically for you. So, it gives you a smallest level of significance at which the null hypothesis can be that leads to rejection of the null hypothesis. That means, earlier what we are assuming this is strict region that we are considering over here and this is the acceptance region we are considering over here. Now, what we are what we will do in a reverse way we are calculating the alpha values like that this is observed level of significance the x bar condition that the x bar values from the sample statistics give me a location of z c over here and this z c corresponds to a, a alpha value which is different from the alpha that we have assumed. So, it is a uh, calculated alpha value for given value of x bar like that. So, it is a representation that if this is the x bar then what is the alpha level at what level of alpha I can reject the null hypothesis that is the smallest level of significance that is known as the p value over here. So, if p value is less than 0.05 uh, we need to reject the null hypothesis. So, we need to reject the null hypothesis. So, this is the condition that we will apply or less than equals to condition we can apply and if p is more than 0 0.05 uh, what we will do is that we will we will uh, accept the null. So, we will go by the null and if it is less than equals to condition we will go by H naught or alternate hypothesis like that. So, this is the condition that is used. So, earlier days uh, we used to see the tables and we compare that one because p value calculation is quite complicated uh, for various distributions like that. Nowadays for computational uh, we have uh, so many softwares like that immediately software will give you the p value corresponding p value for a specific scenarios of either I am doing one sample uh, z test or any other test hypothesis testing. So, p value uh, which is the actual level of significance at what point I can reject the null hypothesis that will be given. So, in uh, in uh, when you have to interpret what you have to uh, what you have to see is that if p is less than equals to 0 0.05 or not if that is the condition then a null has to go in that case uh, we will go by the alternate hypothesis we have to go by the alternate hypothesis over here ok. So, that is the interpretation of p value. So, p is less than equals to 0 0.05 we will uh, we will reject the null hypothesis we will reject the null hypothesis if it is more than that uh, the reverse condition if it is greater than that we will assume that. Uh, uh, null has to be accepted. So, in that case I cannot reject the null and we do not have evidence to reject the null like that. So, this is the condition and let us take one more example. So, in this case one one more example what I am seeing is uh, is variance is unknown that is given over here. A golfer is interested in selecting a golf club whose coefficient of uh, restitution is uh, more than this one. So, my condition over here is the mu value should be greater than uh, then only I will accept the uh, golf club like that. So, golf club means uh, which is used to hit the ball basically. So, that is the design of the golf club. So, I, I have to select a golf club whose coefficient of restitution is more than this one. Following table shows the data for experiments where golf. So, experimentation comes over here where golf balls were fired at, uh, fired at the uh, golf club from a uh, ball cannon and then coefficient of restitution was recorded ok. So, these are the values that we are getting over here. So, these are the sample observations. So, from here what we can do is that we can calculate average, we can calculate standard deviation of the data like that ok. And population variance is not known. So, when we are doing hypothesis testing remember that we are doing hypothesis testing on the population. So, whether mu equals to mu 0 or mu not equals to mu 0 we are not testing whether a, a, a this uh, uh, x bar is certain values like that. So, this is not the way we are testing over here. So, this is all about hypothesis testing all about population not about sample over here. Sample observation will lead to uh, reject or acceptance of the null hypothesis like that ok.
So, here what we can get is that we can get x bar over here and uh, the condition is that that, that uh, uh, we will consider select that golf club which is having a coefficient of restitution of more. So, one of the one of the club was taken and in that case uh, it was observation was given over here. So, it will have a mean and standard deviation. So, in this case I can when variance is unknown for the population of sigma is unknown. So, I can make an estimation with s over here and I can replace the estimation of sigma by s which is the unbiased estimator of sigma and in that case what will happen is that I have a test statistic which is known as t test over here and the test statistics that you see over here is this one where t is equals to. So, calculated value will be based on what is the x bar value which will come from here and then uh, mu over here is taken as uh, 0.82 over here which is the condition that is given it should be more than this. So, null will be equals to condition over here mu equals to uh, 0.82 that is also considered over here you can see ok. And standard deviation calculation will be uh, given. So, instead of sigma I am taking uh, s over here and square root of n that is the condition in in uh, also in sampling distribution we have seen that uh, uh, this is the this is the uh, so, variance follows the sigma by root n condition. So, here also we are taking instead of sigma we are assuming s by root n over here and that will follow t, t distribution and this t distribution. So, some calculated value of t will be calculated and that will be compared with a tabulated value like that. So, that will be compared. So, whenever I am talking of t distribution in that case degree of freedom is important. So, n minus 1. So, here I have n observation n minus 1 is the degree of freedom that will be considered for the analysis and alpha level of significance let us say we have we are assuming a uh, 5 percent level of significance. So, alpha equals to 0 0.05 at that level we want to test this one. So, whenever I am using a t test the underlying assumption is that data follows normal distributions like that. So, data follows normal distribution that has to be checked and then only we can go for t test like that when variance is unknown. So, that is the condition we will we will uh, we will see that one. So, uh, we will go to the uh, Minitab file and try to see how this analysis is done. So, coefficient of restitution. So, this is the data set that I am having. So, I will go to basic statistics and I will try to confirm whether it follows normal distribution or not. So, in this case coefficient of restitution I am doing. Uh, so, uh, in this case uh, I am doing Anderson Darling test again. So, I will click OK and uh, when I do the analysis of uh, normal distribution test what I found is that p value is around 0.873. So, uh, by p value interpretation what we know is that p is more than 0 0.05 in that case null hypothesis over here is the data is normal. So, in this case we cannot reject the null. So, in this case data is normal. So, that is proved over here. So, when the data is normal in that case we can we can apply the uh, uh, t test one sample t test. So, what you have to do is that go to stat basic stat uh, one sample t. So, one sample z we have done when sigma is known one sample t we are doing over here. So, in this case again we will just reload the different set of data which is coefficient of restitution. So, in this case perform hypothesis and uh, when we are doing that and the condition 0 0.82 uh, which was given like that we want to test like that and uh, and that is the condition. So, this is one sided test mu uh, greater than 0 0.82. So, what we will do is that we will we will just mention that one in the options and we go by the options and then uh, 95 percent is there. So, I will write mean greater than hypothesis, hypothesis mean. So, uh, if that is the that is the alternate hypothesis that I am considering over here greater than condition. So, uh, then in graph uh, what we can do is that we can see histograms of the data set also box plot of the data set like that what, what we can see. So, if I click ok and I click ok of the data set what will happen is that. So, this is the data summary descriptive statistics what you see mean and standard deviation is calculated and uh, confidence interval is also given. So, if you go down what will happen is that this is the uh, uh, test statistics that you can see. So, I can paste it over here uh, to uh, have a enhanced view ok. So, this is showing me a value of 2.72 and p value is 0 0.008 p value is 0 0.008. So, when p is uh, less than 0 0.05 we will go for the alternate hypothesis we will go for the alternate hypothesis that means uh, the average value of the population will be uh, greater than 0 0.82. So, that we that is confirmed over here using this test so, with one sample we are doing this and we are finding out that the p value is less than 0 0.05. So, null has to go over here. So, null has to go over here and the p value indicates that we will go for the alternate hypothesis over here. And uh, if this is true, so in that case uh, anything which is more than that. So, we will select this. So, we will select this golf club because it is giving me a a average which is on population we expect that it should be greater than 0 0.82. Alpha level of significance over here p value is considered as 0 0.05 in certain situation p, p value can be considered as um, 0 0.01. Uh, 
sorry uh, alpha value can be selected as 0 0.01 like that. So, 90 percent confidence uh, band we are considering acceptance zone we are considering and uh, so in that case. Uh, um, so, uh, scenarios it depends on the experimenter what value of alpha we will select. So, alpha is generally taken as uh, 10 percent or 5 percent like that. So, that is the general condition ok. Uh, and uh, if we want to be very sure, so 99 percent also acceptance band we, we can take. So, we do not want to take any chance like that. So, if this critical decision is very critical in that case maybe the 99 percent band we will consider and in that case only 1 percent uh, uh, possibility that my conclusion will go wrong. So, in that case alpha value will be 0 0.01 uh, 0 0.001 basically. So, that will be the condition that we can think of sorry sorry 0 0.01 sorry 0 0.01 will be the condition that we can uh, adopt like that. So, it depends on the scenarios what what alpha level we will select like that ok. So, uh, this data set shows that normality assumption is there and the t value p value is in p value is less than. So, significance level is reached. So, we can go for that ok. Now, uh, now in this case normality we have we have transformed the data. So, uh, one uh, one data set that was given that concentration data set and in that case what we have seen is that it is non-normal. So, conversion has worked. So, in this case uh, scenario is favorable for us. So, uh, box box transformation has worked. So, after transformation we have cross checked and we have seen that uh, whatever conclusion that we have drawn uh, assuming normal that is also uh, if I can transform the data and our conclusion uh, is also correct. So, uh, second time when we converted the data also our analysis shows that uh, we cannot reject the null. So, it is approximately. So, p value is again less than that one. So, in case conversion is not happening it is a skewed distribution or something uh, uh, conversion is not working. So, in that case what we can do is that there is another types of test which is known as non-parametric test which uses the median as a reference and uses rank uh, concept like that. So, uh, when you go to stat you go to this non-parametric uh, options that you have. So, in this case you will find two options one sample will cox on and one sample sign test like that. So, what is to be uh, which scenario will be uh, preferred which one to be preferred like that. So, that we can highlight over here. So, in case data is non-normal. So, I want to test. Uh, so, distribution assumption is uh, I want to avoid that one. So, in this case there are options like that. Uh, non-parametric test. So, non-parametric test does not assure a strong decision over here, but what we can say is that this is the alternative that we have in case everything fails. So, we have this alternative, but um, <coughs> we cannot be 100 percent sure that this test works uh, 100 percent of the time. So, it will give you correct decisions like that. So, in this case one sample Wilcox in test some guideline over here assume symmetric distribution like uh, normal distribution what we have when uh, asymmetry exists. So, in that case one sample sign test can be used seeing the distribution based on that I can use either Wilcox uh, Wilcox on test uh, and uh, if it is uh, does not assume population this does not assume symmetry of the distribution. So, this is this we can use this also we can use one sample or otherwise we can use one sample with Cox uh, with Cox on test. So, how do we see that one? So, when we are using this one uh, we can go back to the data set over here which is non normal and in this case uh, what we can do is that go to stat and go to non parametric go to one sample Wilcox and assuming the distribution more or less symmetry over here. So, in this case what I will do is that uh, I will go for this concentration non normal data. And here we are testing the medians basically. So, in this case again, uh, so we do median testing over here. So, not mean. So, you have to remember this one. So, median is assuming to be 0.5 over here. We are doing this test and greater than condition remains same. So, this condition uh, we are testing. And in this case, what will happen is that you will get some observation median values over here. And the testing is done on the median value, which is uh, what you see over here median is equals to 0.5 median not equals to 0.5. So, uh, this Wilcox on statistics is given 679 this is the like uh, T statistics Z statistics this is one of the statistics that is calculated and corresponding P value is given over here what you see 0.442 like that ok. So, 0.442 uh, indicates that P value is more than 0 0.05. So, I cannot reject the null over here. Similar conclusion was drawn when we when we have converted the data and without conversion also the conclusion was same. So, but everywhere it may not happen. So, conclusion based on classical approach may not be uh, same as uh, non conventional approach which is over here or non parametric approach which does not assume distribution like that ok. So, uh, this is true for this and uh, if I go for this co coefficient of restitution over here again 
uh, assuming that a distribution uh, we are not going by any distribution assumptions we can also do one sign one sample sign test over here so this one sample sign test also you mentioned that this is the coefficient of distribution i want to do confidence interval is this and test median is around 0.5 we want to test this one uh, sorry 0.5 over here and i want to test whether it is greater than condition is satisfied or not i click ok and then in that case sign test for median is given and also the conclusion over here you go to the last p values that you see over here the p value indicates uh, uh, significant uh, significance over here so that uh, we have to reject the null that is 0.5 basically okay so uh, all observations are median observation whatever observation we have all 15 observations are beyond this 0.5 so based on that some p value calculation can be done and p value is around 0 so minitab will indicate so when whenever you see the output of minitab so, I am copying this one and I am pasting this one. So, I can delete this and let us paste this one. So, observations that you see I am enhancing this one. So, what you will see is that p value is approximately equals to 0, 0, 0, 0. Up to third place of decimal minute I will report the p values like that. It is not that p value is exactly equals to 0 over here. It indicates that up to three place of decimal this, this is shown and beyond three place of decimal minute app does not show p values like that. Uh, it can be 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 like that. So, the, uh, we do not know. So, up to three place of decimal can be calculated over here. If you are using some other software, let us say R interface, you will find the p value with some values and beyond up to five place of decimal, you can see the p values like that, okay. So, uh, that is also possible in uh, other softwares like R, which is freely available and we can, we can also do this type of testing over there also, okay. So, uh, uh, so what we are showing over here is that this indicates that when I am doing that, I am not assuming any distribution over here, symmetry we are not assuming over here. We can go for this uh, type of analysis and uh, uh, we will go for uh, conventional approach whenever I know the distribution follows, it, it is following normal distribution like that and we want to test whether the mean is equal to some values or not. Uh, we can also do variance testing over here, we can do one, one sample variance test over here. So, if some example exists over here, we can we can see that. So, uh, we can test the variance whether it is equal to. So, our variance that has come out, uh, what we can see over here standard deviation is 0 0.02. 0 0.02 is the average that we are getting. So, in this data set, let us say I want to check the variance over here and I want to do the testing on variance like that, okay, where the variance is equal to some value. So, if I go to stat and uh, I go to basic stat over here and I want to do a variance test, there is an option, uh, one variance test like that. Instead of mean, I am testing the variance over here. Uh, coefficient of restitution, so I, I want to perform the hypothesis value over here. Let us say I want to see whether it is equal to point. Uh, 0, 03 something like that. So, because uh, the analysis says it is close to 0 0.02. So, if you see uh, the standard deviation that is calculated over 0 0.0245 like that, let us assume that whether it is close to 3 or not, we want to 0 0.03 or not, we want to test that one. And uh, hypothetically, I am assuming 0 0.03 over here. So, in options, what we do is that 95 percent we do not change confidence level over here and standard deviation. I am doing both sided test over here, let us say not equals to condition, whether it is equals to uh, 0 0.03 or it is not equals to. So, two sided test I am doing over here. So, in this case, I will click OK over here and I have a chi square test for this because we have also seen that confidence interval when we are doing the confidence interval case for sigma also for population variance, there also chi square distribution was used like that. Here also chi square distribution is used to define this test statistic over here and uh, it will give you a. Uh, idea of the p value concept over here. So, you have to see this uh, the uh, chi square test, the test statistics over here with degree of freedom that is given. So, I can just copy this one and paste it in excel so that you can see. So, I will enlarge the uh, uh, test statistics what we see over here. So, uh, what we will see is the chi, uh, chi square test that we will see over here. Test statistics is 9.38, degree of freedom is 14 information that we have. And this is 0.388, so that indicates that uh, we cannot reject the null hypothesis, which is sigma equals to 0 0.03, because our value also shows that that is close to 0 0.03 over here. So what we are uh, what we are saying over here is that that uh, we can do test for uh, uh, and underlying 
uh, we are assuming that the it follows normal distributions like that it follows normal distribution that is the underlying assumption, but variance can also be tested. So, we have an option in Minitab where we can do variance testing also. So, mean testing what we are doing z test t test similarly when we are testing for one sample variance like that in that case we have a chi square distribution to define that one and based on that we can define the test and p value will indicate whether to reject or accept the null hypothesis like that. So, this way we can do one sample testing. So, most in quality we will find that uh, some load information is given over here let us say this example was earlier taken I want to test let us say this load is close to 15 or it is greater than that then only we will accept like uh, the coefficient of restitution. So, here also you can check whether the data set follows normal distribution like that again I am redoing this one. So, I will take the load information load data information over here and uh, I will do Anderson Darling test. <coughs> and I see that Anderson Darling test indicates the data is following normal because p value is 0.838. So, in this case there is no problem in normality assumptions. So, I can go directly for the testing of this. So, I will I will go for basic testing and one sample if sigma is known sigma is unknown over here. So, I will go by that. So, I will go for the load over here and I will perform the test whether it is more than 15 or something like that we can we can hypothesize mean over here and in options I will say that if it is greater than hypothesis means I will <coughs> I will go for this uh, this thing. So, <coughs> so if I click ok over here and what I see is the p value is 0.948. Here also <coughs> we have given options for the data to be disclosed uh, in uh, <coughs> Uh, we can draw the histogram over here there is a graph option that we have clicked earlier also. So, uh, these things also you can see the distribution of the data over here normality assumption is following. So, uh, statistically we can say it is not normal. So, this is following normal distribution. So, this is true and also you will see a box plot of this load over here that means <coughs> box plot with hypothesis hypothesis location over here hypothesis mean is over here location that uh, plus sign uh, that you see over here red red dots that you see over here. This is the location of the null hypothesis and this is the average that we are getting. This is the average value x bar location and this is the median value what is the 50 percentile 50th percentile over here in the box plot over here. So, these values are uh, these values that x bar we are getting is uh, very close to the hypothesis hypothesized mean and that is why what we are getting over here is uh, what we are getting over here is uh, uh, p value is coming out to be significantly higher than 0 0.05 that means uh, the hypothesis mean is very uh, is not very different from the uh, from the <coughs> x bar over here. So, the hypothesis mean value over here. So, based on the data information. So, this is making a conclusion the conclusion is based on not only the mean value that we are calculating also the variance of the spread of the data set that we are having. So, uh, so, in that case uh, these two values are used over here to make a decision out of this. So, teach statistics include s and x bar information over here. So, both the informations are used and based on that we are making a judgment over here whether the load is greater than 15 or it is less than uh, or less than equals to 15 like that and based on that I will make a judgment over here. So, I have seen the data when it is normal what to do and if it is non normal what options we have transformation options over here. We also have uh, non parametric test over here. We also have a non parametric options for this and non parametric options that we have two options what you said is that I can I can go directly to one, one sample sign test over here and in case you find symmetry in the distribution when you plot the data set like that we can assume symmetry and uniformity in the distribution left hand side and right hand side of the distribution. In that case what uh, symmetric distribution like normal distribution is a symmetric distribution like that. In that case non parametric option what we can explore is uh, Wilcoxon test one sample Wilcoxon, Wilcoxon test like that ok. So, uh, what we will do is that what we will do is that next uh, we will try to cover uh, some il illustration we have given over here. Then we will discuss about in our next session what we will do is that we will discuss about uh, two sample t test. This is the important starting point of experimentation. This is the starting point of experimentation and this is important. So, uh, we have given a brief idea about confidence interval we have given a brief idea of hypothesis testing not that I have emphasized much about hypothesis testing and on confidence interval you can see some other lectures which gives you thorough idea about this 
and extensive extensive lectures on that you can see but that is the basic idea that is required over here in this course so that is the foundation so i have given you some basic idea of the foundation where p value is important for us based on which we are making judgment and we will do hypothesis testing everywhere most of the time experimentation is only hypothesis testing that means whether to go for this decision or that decision like that so we are into inferential statistics that we are doing over here in quality also so some amount of statistics uh, is required understanding of that is required to go ahead with the experimentation concepts like that what we what we will try to discuss about factorial design and then all other options that we have okay so uh, everywhere some statistical uh, analysis has to be done and based on that we have to make a decision but always remember that uh, it has to be practical decision basically okay so uh, sometimes p value is uh, less than 0 0.05 immediately i take a decision it is not like that uh, so uh, physical significance uh, practicality of that whatever i have concluded uh, that has to be taken into consideration when i am making a decision like that okay values are very close although it is significantly different uh, in that case let us say computational time like that with two algorithms you are checking that one so computational time is very close like that and although statistically significant but practically it does not make any sense so you have to consider this p value very very seriously when i am making a judgment like that what is practical being an engineer or in a process uh, you are knowledgeable about the process so whether this difference is really significant so that i say that this is really significant or the difference required is more then only we can say that this is significant like that so p value what is the value of p value based on that we can make a judgment like that uh, okay so if p is very close to 0.5 but just less than 0.5 whether we will 0 0.05 whether we will go for that or we will we need more evidence or we we need more things like that that we have to check when we are making a decisions like that okay so uh, what we will do is that we will close here and we will start with the next session starting from here uh, we will discuss about two sample t test which is extensively used in quality which is extensively used in quality that we will start thank you for listening